once it's still in the hands of the contractor, you know, the contractor also continues to bear the uh, uh, defect liability uh, effect. And we also have uh, the defect notification uh, opportunity should anything uh, go wrong on the road. Once we take it over, and it used to be 12 months, defect liability period. Thereafter, government bears total liability for maintenance. Since last year, instruction and directive had been given that all contractors will bear five-year defect liability period. And I've given that specific instruction on behalf of President Kufuad and on behalf of government. Because that is the standard of the World Bank. So that if you are a contractor, and I've said it as well, and I'm repeating it. So if you are a contractor, and you don't construct the road by specification, and you do shoddy work, and I can tell you we have a number of excellent contractors in our country, comparable to any contractors anywhere in the world. But at the same time, I can't stand here as the sector minister that all contractors are good. I can't say so. So now we are moving it to five years, deferred liability period. Because the 12 month deferred liability trust, it had existed all this while, gave a lot of people to slip through. Because road, however poorly constructed, is likely to withstand whatever shock within 12 months. Then thereafter, government will be saddled with maintenance till the kingdom comes. We are changing it. That trend is changed. You construct road as a contractor, you keep it for 12, uh, for five years. So if you do poor work, it will be on your head for five years. <laughs>